son of a bitch in the hotel. You still leaving the laundry door open. Are you retired? I mean, you very retarded. Mary, why do you think that? Jean left this here. Look at this. It was here yesterday. Stuck the straw right in the ground. He, and he said he did it for a homeless person. What homeless person is going to come by and grab it? Oh! Be nice. Be nice. He has a lot of energy. Good job. Good job. Good job. Charlie! Charlie! Am I sorry that I did a video um, claiming that Jesse died of COVID-19? No, I'm not. But I'll tell you what, I'm sorry that I went up to his room. That's what I'm sorry about. That's where I was absolutely wrong. Because even if I'm not showing symptoms of COVID-19, do you hear me? Even if I'm sh not showing symptoms of COVID-19, that doesn't mean that I don't have it. And that doesn't mean I, can, I can't put him in jeopardy. So that was wrong. It was the joke, the joke was great. The joke was great. But I should have never, I, I shouldn't go up to his place. He should live in, 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 in melancholy and, and uh, he should be li living away from everyone. He should live in, um, exile. He should live in anonymity. He should live in. Uh, he should be ostracized. He should be living uh, alone. He should. He should be living in isolation. He should be living friendless, forlorn, unhappy, unpopular, unaccompanied. Unloved, outcast, forsaken, but a healthy existence. And even though I was joking, the joke becomes real when you're in in a closed place with him. So yes, that was wrong. And I'm sorry. He should live as a recluse, a leper, a pariah, a loner, a wingnut, an unpopular guy.